Yo, welcome. Thank you guys very much for clicking on this video. Today, we're going to be showing you guys the patch 0.18 showcase, which is the dirt and general improvements. We're going to show you guys all the things that make up this patch uh, one at a time. So hopefully it doesn't take too long and we'll go and get into this. And the first one we're going to be going over is the UI contrast. This changes the way the UI looks. And here we have the old UI, which is the current live build of the patch. You can see how there's like no real like background markers. It's pretty Pretty just you can see through everything. The opacity is pretty low. You click on something, we'll go into the game. And you see it's like you can see the bleed through everything. So it kind of makes it a little like you can see everything else. So it might just too much stuff going on. The new version is much better. So this is the old version, and here is the new version. Now you can see we have a lot darker of a contrast for the bar. And as well, as you can see here, and it's all back behind the lettering. You see all the UI as well. Makes things stand out a little bit better as well as when we go to load into a save, you can see everything pops up. And then we come in, you can see the settings are a lot better and more defined. And now for the next one, we're gonna be showing you guys the new gameplay settings and options. So that way you guys can define how you're playing the game. Because after the last patch, it was a little controversial whether the game was too hard, whether it was too easy, whether the interest rates were too high or low, but now you'll be able to change those. All right, as you can see with the new uh, thing, you can click on create game and you'll see all the lists in here for all the new maps and stuff like that. Obviously, the new map is the coal map. So you're going to want to be playing on that. But as you can tell, there's hardcore mode where you are not allowed to change any of these settings. It is the hardest mode you'll be able to play on. So if you want to simulate that on your old saves, you can also do that as well. But the default mode you can change and pretty much put it exactly however you want to play. So if you're having problems with interest rate or you're not having enough money, or you're going break broke or your XP gains are very slow and you need to well, modify that for your play style, you can do so now, which is absolute amazing that Christian put this into the game. And if you want to load your old saves and I'll show you guys what the, that looks like here and how you can change those as well. Okay, we have the uh, one of my saves loaded up here from the giant equipment patch pretty much the last one. And as you can see now in the settings, I'm since I'm not playing on hardcore mode, I can actually change the interest rate and XP gains right here in the settings. So don't worry guys, if you want to tweak your settings, you don't have to start over. So do not worry guys, you'll be able to play and change and tweak any of those things on your old save that you want. So that's a great uh, feature to the game and it goes very well and complements the old, the other patch that just came out. With this next one, this is a little quality of life change for the UI changes and the F1 menu shows hotkeys. And here, if you press the F1 key, you'll see it bring up the menu, which now says, well, E, enter vehicles, leave vehicles, and all that stuff. P, which is enter the store. M is for map, and I is for inventory. That way, your muscle memory playing games throughout all these years will come into play. You see the map mode has the in-world and the garage feature. And then if you press your inventory button, you'll now see the inventory has changed a little bit. And you can see all the cell stuff and the time-lapse camera down here in the corner. Then if you go to hit P, you'll go to the store, which is the normal menu we've always had. Uh, just change, you slide the bar over left to right, hit the vehicle to go into your vehicle option, give your money in the upper left hand corner, and then you can hit sell and you can see it'll put you back into your inventory menu. And now you can fast sell things again like we used to before. So that's really good. Okay, here we are, we're back. And this is probably what you guys, most of you guys wanna see. You're like, oh, you got all that boring stuff before. We got the manual dirt lock. That's right, it came back for the voxel ball for uh, everybody, so that way you guys can, well, if you like playing in that mode, you will should have a lot better play, be able to manual lock them, manual lock them with whatever key you want to bind to that. So let's go and show you guys that. Okay, now we have a demonstration of the dirt lock and a little bit of the improved bucket lock, auto lock that the original, well, dirt balls have. So we're gonna go ahead and smash that wall face. Now, if you press the dirt lock right now, you might get stuck in the wall. And you might have to do a little bit of a wiggle to get loose. So make sure you don't press it too early. But as you can tell, nothing is really falling out. You can wiggle around, do all this good stuff. No problems at all. You're not really losing anything. And then you can press the key again. You can see the little red indicator on the side there since I have it activated and nothing is falling out. So that way, you, if you're having, if you like this mode and you don't want to play with the new bulk mode, you can still play with the old voxel balls and still get it going on. Then when you release, it will release the bucket. So that way you can kind of have the best of both worlds and you can pick and choose what piece of machinery you want to use in bulk or the uh, dirt balls. And 
also here I'll show you guys what, what it's like now scooping with a little bit of the enhanced voxel mode and as you can tell it's a little it's about the same you'll still have a lot of spillage but the lock will hold a little bit more in the bucket without letting the stuff go with a higher velocity rate so you will see you'll be able to hold a lot more and the auto lock will help a little bit more so that's a nice change for the people that love playing uh with this mode and you can sell it see it's not going away it's not getting deleted as a matter of fact it's getting polished a little bit more and more and more but now we have a new mode which we're going to go ahead and get into now and the bulk mode is one the thing that we've had in the game for a long time you may have heard me talk about it because we used to have it then it got removed and then now it's coming back so this is a great one for a lot of players that love playing games that have filled planes like farm sim and gold rush it makes it a lot like that so we have now we have two modes of play and i'll show you guys how to set that all up and get at it okay here we have the gigantic loader here and i'm going to show you guys how to activate this so first off you go into your inventory if you're in a vehicle and you'll see bulk dirt up here go ahead and click on that and now it's activated that's all you have to do you can do this for every vehicle to turn it off or turn it on depending on what vehicle you like and how you do it all you have to do is go up and take a scoop and look ta-da it's full it's good to go look no mess no fuss here it is it's all good to go it holds the correct amount of tonnage and you will be able to dump it right now it's a little slow on the dumping some of these this is early uh, access footage here guys so some of these things will be tweaked and changed uh, over been hot fix and things like that so this is just a showcase for you guys to show you guys the new system see bulk dirt is not just bulk dirt anymore it's bulk dirt mixed with voxel but it's controllable nice clean and easy to go and we're going to demonstrate a uh, an excavator here in a second uh, filling a rock truck in bulk mode as well see as you can tell look it dumps really nice it's a big vehicle it's holding a lot in my opinion the dump needs to be sped up a little bit but this will also not wreck you in performance also so you'll be able to move tons of material now we have the haul truck so we're going to demonstrate this this will work for all dumpers just make sure you turn on bulk mode make sure you clear your bed first before you do it but what you'll notice is we have a now have a percentage indicator on our haul truck this will let you know how full it is so that way you don't just keep overfilling and if you do well guess what that's your mistake so the game will punish you if you just sit there and keep filling and but however it will not continue to build up value in the box so make sure you watch your percentages and don't just tunnel vision into the dirt and continue to keep filling your vehicles same thing goes for this piece of equipment we're going to go ahead and bring out this s7000 which is the well mid-tier to the new gigantic equipment and we're going to fill this thing up with bulk to bulk mode and show you guys how much more smooth this actually is so as you can tell this thing is massive and we're going to make sure we turn this thing into bulk as well so we click that on it'll save so we're going to go ahead and exit out of the inventory menu while we're in a vehicle and we're going to take our first scoop showing you guys how much nicer this is oh there's a little random voxel in my bucket still so as you kind of punch down you can scoop in and it takes a really nice scoop and that's not a full bucket load it's about that's probably about 75 percent full and it dropped a little bit no big deal but what you will notice is the truck will actually start to fill up as the percent goes up and then it'll change so that's really nice it's super clean to take this the this the scoops i really prefer this for myself i know a lot of you guys really like the the cocoa pebbles digging them up it's really nice that this is kind of a mixed version between you know seeing the voxel dropped we have, we're wanting cocoa pebbles here and you know I just feel I think it feels a lot more smooth as you guys can probably tell it's very smooth there's not any spillage and we'll go ahead and demonstrate that in the truck as we drive up the haul road and as you can see I have a pretty decent little haul road here so we're going to take a little bit of a trip up this thing and show you guys look there is no spillage oh mg <laughs> oh man for all of us have been playing for quite a while and having those pesky freaking cocoa pebbles fall all over our roads and mess them all up as you can see as i take this elevation change nothing is coming out now if you go up a steep steep incline which we'll test up here to see how this thing handles which we have a we have that very end i'm kind of worried about it but uh, it's handling this gr this grade no problem nothing's falling out nothing's leaking out the back 
and we're gonna be going up see we've had no issues so far at all but this is a very steep area here and let's go ahead and give it a, a rip and see what happens <laughs> so this we built this road in mind for all of this coming up and it looks like it's handling it no problem we're see we're actually running over some of our previous bumps and oh my goodness it's gonna be so nice to not have this happen ever again oh it handled it no problem like a dream and this is the chaos that you see of the remnants the remnants of the chaos that was the old system in place causing just destruction upon our haul roads and our everything making us need to play with the floor tiles and all these weird methods of gameplay but as you can tell that is now probably going to be a thing of the past so let's go and see how this thing dumps and how it handles and it just generates them nice and slowly so that way it can cut back on performance for a lot of you guys that might be having some issues and it slowly just fills it up it'll just slowly dump 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 and decay into your hoppers and in, then into your wash plants and then it being sold or whatever you're doing and you see as it goes away i'll still have a little bit more of a delay there but nice perfect good smooth dump i'm actually super stoked let's go and show you guys the dozer and how that works all right we got the dozer here guys and we're going to show you guys what this thing does in voxel mode now it is unstoppable like it used to be. The dozer's back, boys. So this is voxel mode. We are just pushing along. It can definitely move a lot of dirt like it used to before the big giant, well, changed to it, which a lot of people absolutely hated. As you can tell, it's just pushing along. Nothing's really stopping it too much. Except for right there, I guess. Back up off of it. And let's see if I can drive up on top of this hill now. And see if we can uh, push up this berm. You can see how much more powerful it is. The side edge does not get stuck anymore. And we are able to almost get up the top of this hill. Let me back off of it for a second here. And try again. But before, we could not do this. And we used to be able to do it, but now we're... Well, it's powerful again. It is nice. It feels great. The dozer's back. Oh, man. Oh, the man, the dozer's back. The side cutting power is for sure one of the more... We, we kind of got stuck and hung up on everything. And while we were still able to push a lot of dirt, the problem was we were just getting hung up on any little thing that would hit the side of the blade. And I'll show you guys here by ramming this thing in now that you can see the cutting angle is much more severe and it's a little higher up too. So you'll see some material coming off the wall being knocked loose and uh, not having any issue really getting stuck too much so this allows you to clean up your wall faces and stuff like that uh, make things look good and not get hung up on all the little small things and here we have the bulk mode let's go ahead and turn this on and this is a little bit more it's nice for nice precise clean work but as you can see the dozer blade fills up very quickly so you have to dump it off right and then you got to go back and kind of skim. This stuff is more for finishing. I probably will be sticking with the voxel mode myself personally with the dozer. Just so we can get those big giant long pushes and get a lot of material moved around with the dozer. So while I'm, I do like this application in bulk mode for certain things, but I believe that the old way of having the um, pushing around those cocoa puffs, that's a little bit better. I, I personally like the voxel with the dozer, but the bulk mode with everything else. So dozer for me is a A plus with the old method of the old systems. As you can see, it fills up really quickly and then you got to get rid of it and dump it off, which it does work and it's just kind of, it's nice, but not for me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, how you guys feel both modes are for all the different pieces of equipment. And uh, like I said, we'll be playing this thing here coming up on Friday. Well, whatever day this video comes out. And uh, yeah, you can do a lot of backfilling. You can do a lot of scraping and things like that. It does need a little bit more tweaking in bulk mode, but voxel mode is absolute monster. And we'll go back into uh, voxel mode and show you guys the power of this thing. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me a ton of questions. Uh, Split, how's the dozer feel? How's the dozer feel, Split? <laughs> Well, it feels absolutely glorious and it has a lot of its power back and it gets only stuck sometime like it used to, but most of the time it can power right through all of those problems. So 
We'll try to hit another hit cliff here and see if we can chomp through to the top of it. Other than that, guys, we're pretty much done showing you guys most of the stuff. The patch should be out here sometime this weekend and uh, get on into that and uh, everything like that, bros. So, yep, the dozer's a beast. The dozer's an absolute monster. All right, guys, well, that is about all for this patch. There's a lot of other little things like sounds, hide UI, all kinds of stuff. But if you guys can do me a massive favor, smash that like button, leave a comment, and uh, let's get this discussion going. But other than that, guys, it's been great. Thank you guys very much for all the support lately. And we will catch you guys here in a live stream. And we'll be showing this off and playing it over this week. So take it easy, everybody.